This morning, it's great to welcome Raw Chef Jane to the Daytime Kitchen. Good to see you. Well, good morning. It's nice to be here. Okay, I have a lot of ground to cover today. Right, so we're getting now, right into it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're getting right into it. No time for lollygagging here. Okay, now, when I brought this in, this is a huge bowl of fresh basil that I mm. harvested from my garden yesterday, okay? And there's a little bowl over here that was filled with that this morning. I'll hold that up. And I just kind of pushed this into yeah. my food processor, and I took a clove of garlic. You can see I brought a basket of garlic there mm. also from my garden as well. And I just took one little clove from that, <laughs> and I cut it up in here. I'm going to yeah. put a little bit of extra virgin olive okay. oil in here. I don't want to put a lot of extra virgin olive oil in here because I'm going to make a creamy pesto sauce. Okay. Okay, so I just want a little bit so that it breaks down and it holds it together. Okay, so that I'm going to do when we go on break, and I will break that yep. all down. Okay, now, next thing that I did is I picked uh, some zucchini from the garden. Unfortunately, some of the zucchini got a little bit larger than I like it to get because the seeds are very large in here. Normally, I would like to spiralize my zucchini because I like the thinness right. of it. And it holds on to sauces and things very nicely. And it's fun to eat during the summertime instead of having to cook a pasta, okay? So instead of making spiralized pasta today and spiralized zucchini, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mandolin. As you saw, Chris just held up the bowl, and I've already done some of this. Um, but what I want to do is I want to take out these seeds, okay? Oh. okay? Because if I don't take out the seeds, what happens is that... The seeds contain a lot of water, and all that's going to happen is that this is going to get very watery. The seeds don't have much flavor. They do, they do have nutrition, but we're just going to kind of forego them. So what I'm going to do is use my handy-dandy grapefruit spoon, melon spoon. You can see that it's right. got a serrated top to it. Mm -hmm. So that's how it, it, uh, it's a great kitchen tool. So I'm going to take out my, um, I scoop out my seeds with this. And basically, just kind of get this just get all, them all out of there. Yep, I want to get all the, these seeds out so that I don't have any water from this because otherwise you're just going to have zucchini swimming. Now, can in you water. save those and do something else with them? You, you can, want to? sure. You can use them in a stir fry. You can use them uh, okay. just if you want to. Uh, most people are still cooking, obviously, so you could use them to stuff a zucchini if you wanted right. to. Um, sure, of course, you can use them. You can use them in a smoothie. You can use okay. them as a ju in juice. You can do a lot of things with them. So basically, that's it. We have our zucchini is... Got a little zucchini boat going oh, on there. Yeah, we do have a boat. Yeah. And I was kind of trying to think of a way to make a, um, a stuffed zucchini on the air, and it was just a little too daunting to do. Now, I have this set on a very thin setting. So I'm going to do about slices about maybe a sixteenth of an inch. My mandolin has a, a gauge to it so that I can make it certain thicknesses, which I really like. Now, the one thing also about using a mandolin, and I will warn you about this, be very, very caref yes. careful with it. The blades are very sharp, and you will cut your fingers. Yep. Or your knuckles. How or do I know that? <laughs> <laughs> If you've ever used one, you know. Oh, yes. yeah. So what I'm going to do is very carefully make little slices here. So I want to make thin slices. I don't like big chunks of vegetables right. to chew. I find that really uncomfortable, and it's just, it's just not me. So I want to make thin slices. And right. you can see this is coming out very nice sharp. and thin, yes. and, yeah, the blades are sharp. I cut myself last night. I was oh, doing, I made this for us for dinner last night, and um, I was cleaning the blade and I just stuck my finger in it and it oh was like no. boom <laughs> really and I, I it, you know I yelled at the blade <laughs> <laughs> blend the blade uh, yeah bad blade <laughs> so when you can start to get down here and you yeah. have a little piece left you want to be very 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 careful, careful. All okay right. so I'm just going to go there and I'm going to put that aside so you can see we have yeah. nice n nice little thin very thin slices All right, here. We're going to come back here mm -hmm. in just a few moments, yep. okay? We're going to put this whole dish together yep. coming up in just a few moments. And remember, rawchefjane.com. Remember her book as well. We'll talk a little bit more about the book. It is not just salad. It's rawchefjane.com. She's also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well.